hey hey everyone and a welcome in or welcome back it's a monkey mar before we get into today's uh, video please make sure you uh, click that subscribe uh, button the bell for notifications and of course the like let's get into a few updates with the five week old a uh, baby i guess the baby is six weeks old our madre out of wells uh, texas and let's see if we can dig into the mother a little bit and with that let's uh, get into it okay we've got a little bit of new information out on little baby a madre argument so after five days which is i think today is day seven but after five days of searching for a missing infant, investigators in Cherokee County believe the child may be deceased. That is horrible, but there is something very strange about the back and forth he said, she said. So five-week-old Armadre has been missing for several days. He was last seen Friday around 7 a.m. at his grandmother's house in the 500 block of Forest Road in Wells. According to Deep East Texas Amber Alert, Marjorie is the youngest missing child they've ever had on record. Marjorie's father, DeAndre Argumon, was released from the Smith County Jail on September 15th, 2020. So he just got out 10 days ago today and was asked to watch Amadre by his mother. Sharon Argumon. Argumon's relatives say there was a lot of he said she said between DeAndre and Armadre's mother, Amanda Doss. Amanda said she was not here, but Dre says he gave the baby to Amanda. Neither parent has custody. My aunt, which is baby Dre's grandmother, has custody, says DeAndre's cousin, Jackie Argumon. So both parents do not even have custody of the young child who was missing. He still said she had the baby. So after that, he left again and didn't come back until everybody was here. And they took him to jail, says Grandma Sharon. The Cherokee County Sheriff's Office, along with state troopers and Child Protective Services, held a press conference Tuesday. Authorities urged people in the area to be vigilant. They asked residents in particular to be on the lookout for fresh, small graves. Well, that cannot be good. They say the father has been arrested, but hasn't been cooperative. All right, let's get into the second little bit of information. This really is not starting to look like a really good situation. We've got the mother saying the father has the baby. We've got the father saying the mother has the baby. These parents do not even have custody of a Marjorie. The grandmother Sharon does. And there's not much even being said about the mother, but we're going to go look into the mother after I read this last little bit of information because they are searching and there is video of these searches and I will attach that link to the article in the description as well so the search continues for a missing infant in east texas it's now been six days since five week old our marjorie antoine marquis argument has gone missing an amber alert was issued for marjorie last weekend after he was last seen with his father deandre argument at his grandmother's home home on september 18th we know that the baby was at that location last friday Wells police officer Steve Cooper said and we've expanded out from there and then we had several other tips in different locations in and around Wells. Law enforcement began their search at 8 a.m. Thursday morning. Cooper says Wells police officers which was yesterday. Cherokee County deputies and specially trained dogs looked around the home and other areas of interest in Wells. No new information has been discovered. Clothing, diapers, we've had hundreds of diaper columns and we've checked all of them out, Cooper said. So far, nothing that has led us to believe that it's part of our ongoing investigation. The boy's father, DeAndre Argumon, remains in custody for endangering and or abandoning a, a child. All right, let's go see what we can find out on Grandma Sharon and the mother of this missing 
six week old, a child, five week old, five and a half weeks old, it doesn't matter. Where is baby Armadre Antoine Marquis Argumon? And the father is not cooperating. I wonder why. You cannot make this up. I thought maybe I won't find anything, maybe I will. But I just started looking, and the first thing I found was Amanda Lee Doss, 5'2. She just got out of jail, 6'12, 2019. So she's been out for a year and a couple of months. So, eh, so this is it. She was in Polk County, and there's her picture. I am going to go look into Polk County and see if I can pull up the charge from the county with this charge number. And be right back. Uh, my gut is telling me this is not going to be a good outcome after seeing the father, DeAndre's background, and then finding some background on Amanda Doss, Amadre's mom. So let's check out who is this little child's mother. This is just in Angelina County, which is in Texas, and she has a rap sheet herself. But I found a two incidents in Angelina with her picture, and she has bond, theft prop, possession of controlled substance. Well, looking at her pictures, that's not a surprise. Theft, 100 or more, but less than 750. And I will show her mug shots of this arrest. She was booked on this charge in Lufkin Police Department, which is right over the line from Wells, in 6-7-2019. Then we've got her on a booked date of 9-27-2019, just short a year. And it was a bond surrender, $2,500 bond. She posted bond. And that's just what she has in Angelina County. And she does have a few arrests in Polk County as well. So she is definitely known to the police. And he said, she said, where is, is this a baby? Somebody knows. And how come she is not being questioned because the father was the last one seen with the baby? Or has she been cooperative? I would really like to know. So... I am going to stay on top of this case as well and pray that with a miracle that this little baby, Amadre, is found alive. But for real, you cannot make this up. I'm not even sure this poor child had a chance with these parents. And while Sharon, the grandmother, passed the baby off to one of them is truly beyond me in videos of them searching and it seems to me like they have an area that they are definitely searching i will attach like i said earlier the link to that video below in the description i want to go have a look at the 500 block of forest road in wells texas and just see what kind of area the little baby went missing from and it is definitely <laughs> a desolate area i am not sure if this right here is that green swampy water mud kind of looks like it is right through here this is the 500 block let's go down and have a look i pray that there is closure to this story these after seeing the mother's arrest record and her mugshot and her charges it's sad if she is addicted to a certain drug but why does the children have to suffer? Why did the grandma give the baby to... I mean, he just got out of prison 10 days ago. I do not understand it. I'm not sure. I pray this will be a happy ending and maybe they gave the baby to someone or... Ugh, who can imagine what happened? All right, guys, I am going to wrap up this video. That is all of the new updates so far that I have found. And like I said, prayers for baby Amadre. And hopefully they will find him alive and soon. I want to thank you all for coming in. Thank you for watching. 
please like or dislike whichever you prefer and a subscribe everyone have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world and stay vigilant i am out